Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. My name is Moose78. Hope you guys are doing well. And today we're gonna do another mod spotlight video and we're gonna take a look at the Kenworth T660 by AMV Thomas and Josh Farley. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Let's start off the sleeper options. You got two different options. You got the one with the aero cap. Then you just got your standard mid-roof. Gonna go with the aero cap. Then for the chassis options, they did something a little bit different here. You just have the one chassis option, but you can go with a headache rack or without. And today we're going to go without. Then for the engine options, several different engine options, kind of range from a Cat C13. And we'll just kind of scroll through these. You got to take a look at all those. I think we're gonna go with the Cat C15, 625 horsepower. We'll see how that sounds. And of course, for the transmission, we're gonna go with our trusty Eaton Fuller 18 speed. And for the interior, you got uh, several different options. You can go with uh, the wood grain inlay there on the dash, or you can go with the standard black. And then you just have uh, various different options for uh, your leather padding down here. You can go with the black, the blue, the gray, the red, and then it's all the same for uh, the wood inlay. But uh, we're going to go with the black on black there. Let's take a quick look around the end here. like the shifter. And I like how they have the cover over the shifter too. That's that's kind of different. And uh, get back down there. Looks like they got some uh, switches there on the seat for a little bit of detail. That's kind of nice. But it's uh, just basically, you know, your you know standard W900 interior. But it uh, looks good though. Then for the paint jobs. You just have uh, your basic colors. And then of course, uh, you can do a custom metallic color. We'll go ahead and put a kind of a copper look on it. I think that looks nice. And then now to the meat and potatoes of it all, all the accessory options for the truck. You kind of start down here on the bumper. You have your standard bumper. Then you got a chrome one. With some tow hooks there on the front and then typically i am not a fan of bull bars whether it be in a game or in real life but i think this actually looks uh, fairly decent on here you know, that would probably look pretty cool if you're uh, you know pulling a bull rack or something like that that would probably uh go together pretty well but i'm gonna go with uh, kind of the standard version and then they do have uh, some chrome trim you can put on here as well kind of spice up a little bit if that's your thing Then you can do uh, some bug guards. Go with uh, the metal and glass. Or you can go just go with the metal one. Then of course you have your standard uh, mirror options. And it's the same over here on the passenger side. And if you want to, you can put the swan there on the hood make it look kind of nice then you just have your standard painted or chrome mirrors then for the visor you can go with uh, the standard chrome shield or just kind of the stock one there or blind mount I kind of like that chrome one so we're gonna throw that on there. Then for the cab lights, they have the old style of just the five or the nine. We'll go ahead and go with the five. And then if I was doing a med roof, I would just do the five and five. Five on the cab and then five on the sleeper. I think that looks really good. And then just some interior options we'll get to here in a little bit. And we'll take a look at the side skirts. You can go with the standard. Or you can go with uh, kind of the half skirts. Or you can go with the full skirts, which that's the look I really like. So we're going to go with that today. And then where was it? There it is. You can also either, if you want to put the chrome, you can do it on the front and the back. I'll make it look fancy. 
but I'm good. I'm just gonna go with kind of the standard stock look today. And then back here, you just have all sorts of different mud flap options. You know, your standard Kenworth. Then you get into kind of your custom ones with a chrome grill there. Some more Kenworth. And just various different uh, mud flap options they've included. But uh, you can kind of go through all those and uh, see which, which ones uh, suit your truck best. Then for the exhaust, you just have the single stack or the twin stack. We'll go ahead and go with the twin stack. Then for the license plate, you have uh, several different options there as well as you have all the states to choose from actually. Just kind of go with a random one there. There is the exterior of the truck. I like to keep it nice and clean. I think it looks really good though. Go ahead and take a look at the interior real quick. Uh, no support for the SEI wheels on this, but uh, if you have access to, you know, like Blender or uh, Z Mod 3, that is pretty easy to add that. Now, I'm not going to go over a lot of this stuff here in the interior because uh, I'm apparently missing a mod or something because it always crashes my game anytime I try to, you know, do any of those. So you guys can check those out on your own. And that's just your driver plate and all that stuff. Just kind of take a quick look around the interior again. Then, of course, over here, you know, you can put uh, stuff on the seat. And if you want to, you can put some stickers on your window down there. And you can put a CV in. We'll go ahead and put a Cobra in there. That is it for the interior. So let's go ahead and confirm everything. We'll trade in our previous truck. We'll hop outside, take a look, fire it up and uh, see how she sounds. All right, we're outside the dealer now. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up and see how she sounds. Sounds pretty good. Nice air horn. And I actually think this is one of the stock engine sounds, but it still sounds pretty good though. Let's kind of take a look around the interior. Looks really good. But yeah, there you go, guys. That is the Kenworth T660. I will be featuring this in an episode of Stories on the Road tomorrow, so be sure to check that out. But guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. If you like today's video, just give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch, helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But guys, until the next video, stay safe out there, take care, and we'll be seeing you.